previous videos, I got the Pontiac 350 out of my 68 Le Mans. And welcome to Rust Revival Garage. Um, basically, it's been very, very cold across the country uh, for the past couple of weeks. And I mean, really, really cold. But I've got a small window of opportunity where it's going to get warmer. It's going to get up into the high 40s, 50s. And I think that's going to help create perfect conditions to prime and paint that engine. Um, so yeah, time to uh, throw in a little elbow grease and see if we can't get that engine looking a little, little prettier. Let's get to it. All right, little update. Got this side of the engine cleaned up. Took the old motor mount off. Uh, used the super clean. Uh, still got a lot of work to do, of course, because it's still kind of nasty. But one thing I discovered is that one of my freeze plugs had rusted completely out. Uh, the damage you see there is just basically me trying to pull it out. Um, but I've got a new set on the way, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace these. Even though these look pretty clean on the outside, i got to figure there's going to be some rust on the inside. So if that one was bad, there's a good chance they're all pretty bad. But still making some progress. Got a lot more cleaning to do. We are getting there. Um, just need to keep do a couple more rounds of cleaning and some heat, acetone, and then primer, and then paint. I've got really nice warm weather right now. For some reason, it, it jumped up to about 50 degrees. And man, I can get it about 60 in here with the heaters and 65. So I might have to see about painting this thing soon. All right, so I've got the did a little rough up job on the primered parts and I got that cleaned up. And we're gonna see if we can't stir up our motor coder engine enamel. And it is in the color of, you can see a little bit of it there. It is the Pontiac metallic engine paint. So let's see how this looks. This is supposed to cover a whole engine. So we get these cleaned up and dried and we will get them painted. All right, let's give it a whirl. brush is too big for the can, but I think I can make it work. All right, we'll get a coat on this oil pan and see how it looks. All right, not too sure about it, but I do like the color. It is a Pontiac silver blue metallic color. But man, there's some serious paintbrush lines in there. Um, got a good temperature in the room, so I don't know if that's the problem. But I think it's, but it's just really thick. So we're gonna let it dry and see how it turns out. Uh, maybe even do a second coat. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's it's a good color. So oil pan's done. Now we've got to do the timing chain cover and. Here we're gonna do the valley pan. Okay, valley pan is painted. Looks a little rough. Let's just see how it dries. So many nooks and crannies on every part of this engine. It is hilarious. There's like a not a straight line to be found. All right, we'll get the timing chain covered on. Let these dry and see how it turns out. 
All right, got the major components painted and primed. Let's just wait and see how they turn out. If I'm not crazy about it, I can always shoot it with the rattle can and maybe that'll help it look a little better. All right, let's see what we got from Butler. do with both hands. Oh, some fun stuff here. Looks like we've got timing chain. Uh, the timing chain seal, the cover seal. And uh, I believe this is the complete gasket set. Yeah, looks like we've got our complete gasket set. Um, new ones for the oh crap! I ordered this and it came with it. Well, now I've got two. Yep, so we've got our sauce gaskets intake. Like we've got our timing chain cover and water pump gaskets. Yeah, looks like pretty much everything we need to put this back together again. The only thing that I did not order with, from them with this kit was the uh, oil pan because I actually want to get their one piece oil pan gasket so I could basically put it on all the way around and know that it's all one piece. So, but yeah. Got some fun toys to put it all back together again. So I think I've got the block as clean as I can get it. Uh, I've used a heat gun to apply heat to dry off the engine as much as I possibly could. I know some people actually use those torches to basically just heat up the block, but I don't have one. And I don't really trust myself with actually putting flame to anything. So. <laughs> I'm going to hope that the heat gun got it nice and dry. The next step is going to be to apply the um, acetone. One final, basically, acetone rinse of the entire engine. And then we'll do the primer and the paint. And I also got my freeze plugs, so I can also replace those once I get everything all nice and painted up. The hardest part about this engine is there is no smooth surface for any length of time. I mean, it's just curve after bend after curve. So many nooks and crannies in there. So I have cleaned the engine with the acetone. Basically went into every little nook and cranny I could find. Got it all cleaned out so it's been warmed up and dried. It's been covered in acetone. That has all evaporated now. It's time for the primer. I think I should probably take these spark plugs out, finally. Got one coat of primer on. And everything is looking good. Gonna let this dry. It's usually dry to the touch in 10 to 15 minutes, but it's a little bit colder in here. I think it's about 60. So I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes to a second coat, and the primer should be done. Got the new damper harmonic balancer. I don't know what it's called, but got a new one of those. All right, so good to go there. All right, so it's had a chance to dry. This is basically overnight. Everything's looking good. I just decided to go with one coat. I don't need to make this look pretty. I mean, this isn't going to be a perfect, perfect engine. But I did want to put the primer on there and then do the, the metallic 
Pontiac blue paint and make it look as nice as I could without going too crazy. So I think this will this will be fine. I finally took a moment to clean up the my work area. It's been a mess. I've had basically I took all my Pontiac 400 parts and put them in here and here. Got things a little better organized, and I still need to find, figure out storage for the heads and the crank. But basically, I've got it a little better cleaned up in here. It was getting to be quite the mess. One of the other things I want to do is go through and clean out all the bolt holes. And I basically use this and a little cutting fluid and basically can get everything all cleaned up. Gets, if there's any primer or paint that got in there, I can clean that out. Any old rust, anything in that's in there, I can basically, I want to get that prepped before I start putting on the pieces. This primer has been setting for 48 hours. Um, I'm going to lightly scuff it up a little bit and then see if we can't get that paint on there. Had the temperature drop on me, I had to wait the 48 hours and I wasn't expecting that. It's back down to a, in the mid 30s outside. I've got both my heaters running and I've got it up to about 50 degrees. So I'm hoping that's going to be enough. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this ready for some paint. Get this done and hopefully we can get back to reassembling everything very soon. All my parts are here. Just a light scuff everywhere. There is some primer. Hopefully I can get it to stick a little better and it will come out looking kind of nice. Okay. I am using once again the motor coder engine enamel from KBS. Um, it's basically the Pontiac Silver Metallic Blue Paint, which according to everybody is good for, I don't remember what the years are that they had this, but it was 68, maybe 70, maybe 70. No, I think starting in the 70s, they started getting into the darker blue. I'll have to look that up. But I like what came out. I like how it came out on the... Uh, oil pan and timing chain cover and valley pan so hopefully the black will look good but yeah let's get this done Got one coat on, see how it looks, and might be doing a second coat, we'll see. But yeah, I like it. Got me a second coat on, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, engine block is painted. Did another coat on these pieces here. <clears throat> I think we're good to go. This basically says it needs seven days to dry, so just won't really do too much with it. All right, so I think that's gonna do it. Uh, I've got the block cleaned and primed and painted. Got the oil pan and timing cover and uh, valley pan cleaned and primed and painted. I think it's time to start putting things back together. Uh, I think I wanna start with the timing chain. Uh, since I've got that, I can put the timing chain back on, the cover back on, and then the, the harmonic balancer. And be good to go there. I'll be able to roll it over and drop on that oil pan once I get the new one-piece gasket. So lots of things coming up. I still need to start getting, or I still need to get started on the engine bay, cleaning that out too. So yeah, thanks very much for tuning in. If you can, like, comment, subscribe, really helps out the channel. And uh, we will catch you next time. Thanks very much.